Hey, I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And welcome back to our channel. Today we thought we'd make you one of our favorite pasta recipes that we've been making for many, many years now. Well, we've been doing that because it's so good. It really is. It is. So traditionally how we make it is with sausage and fresh mm. mozzarella and some Romano cheese and sun-dried tomatoes, which we're going to be using the ones that mom just made for us. They're so good. And also marinated artichoke hearts. It's really, really good. And of course, a little white wine, because you have to. And don't forget, we're going to be using fresh pasta. Well, yeah. Um, so. But as we go along, I'll also tell you how you could make this as a vegan or vegetarian option as well. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. So mm. let's get cooking. What do you All think? right, let's do it. All right. Okay. So for this pasta dish, I'm going to start by just chopping up the garlic here. And we're going to be using a few cloves, just because these ones are smaller. And we'll do a, uh, it's okay if it's a chunky dice, but you can also do a fine if you'd like. We like garlic, so I, I do it a little bit larger. But for those of you who don't like garlic, you can do either a fine dice or you can eliminate it completely. I love this fresh garlic we get here. It's so good. So we'll just chop up these few cloves here. Okay. So basically just chop it as however fine you'd like it. So now I'm going to be moving on to the artichoke hearts. So for these, we're also going to be using some of the liquid in here, so we're not going to strain them. So all we're going to be doing is doing a rough chop. Again, bite-sized pieces, so however large you would like them, you can either cut them in half or in thirds. Depends on the size of the artichoke you get in your container. Sometimes when you get them in the States, they're a little bit larger, just depends. And also the ones that are marinated are a little different than the ones that you get in the can. Sometimes those are a little bit larger in the can. So get some of these. Beautiful. Okay, so let's continue chopping these artichokes. I'm gonna be using both jars here because we like a lot of artichoke. They're just so sweet. Like I said, don't get rid of the liquid from this just yet because we'll be using some of it in the sauce. Once you get all the artichokes out, you can see there's really not too much liquid in there. But we'll be saving that for later. Okay. Beautiful. I love on Sundays here, you can get the roasted artichoke hearts right on the street. They cook them on the grill and oh, they're so good. You can usually get about four to six of them for a euro and they're just fresh stuffed roasted artichoke hearts. They only do them on Sundays, but it's pretty special and delicious. Okay, so now we'll get working with the other ingredients. All right, so now we're gonna start with the garlic that we just finished chopping. And I'm gonna add a little bit of our delicious fresh olive oil, just a little, because we're gonna be adding the sausage directly to this. So we don't need too much olive oil right now. All right, so we're just gonna let this saute for just a little bit in that little bit of olive oil. The reason we're not adding too much olive oil is because the sausage will produce a little bit of moisture here. We don't need too much. But the smell, the aroma from that is just so good. So we're cooking this on a medium heat. Just so we get a little bit of a sizzle. And then we'll add the sausage. All right, so we don't need to worry about this getting cooked too much because, like I said, we're going to be adding the sausage to it. I just want it to flavor the olive oil a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to add the sausage here. We were able to get a nice ground sausage already. 
So we'll just mix this in. This already has herbs in here, and the white you'll see is, is a little bit of cheese. It has some tomato and some parsley in there as well. Um, in the States, you can just use an Italian sausage, either sweet Italian or the hot. Um, where this is a sweet, I'm going to be adding a little hot pepper as well because I like a little spice. Um, for those of you who are vegetarian or vegan, instead of doing this, you can substitute and use um, your favorite vegan sausage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this in, make sure it's all broken up. And once it's mixed, I'm just going to let it sit and get a little crisp. I just want to make sure it's in small pieces that are bite size and oh this smells so good because like I said the white clumps that look like they might be fat are not they're cheese so oh it smells so good because I think it smells like it's part provolone don't you think mm -hmm. so good all right so now that I'm just going to let it sit and cook for a minute so now we're going to be adding a little bit of hot pepper to taste you don't have to add it if you don't want because if you don't want it too spicy you don't have to add that at all I like a little spice and like I said this was not a spicy sausage we're also going to be adding something that's typical for here. It's actually a spaghetti seasoning, believe it or not. It has a little bit of hot pepper, it has some garlic, it has some parsley already in it. And it just adds a nice flavor. Here we use this, we add it to almost everything. It's just so good. And it's all dried, so it just rehydrates in here. And you see all this liquid? This is just from the melted cheese from inside the sausage. So it just adds that nice liquid. That's why we didn't have to add any olive oil or anything to it. Okay, so once this finishes cooking, we're going to start adding the artichoke hearts to it, but I'm gonna let this cook for just a couple minutes more. So we'll get back to you in a second. All right, so now you can see that the sausage is cooking down nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. You can see all this liquid. Again, that's not fat, that's just delicious melted cheese. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting in the artichoke hearts and the sun-dried tomatoes. Now, if you're using jarred sun-dried tomatoes in oil, you'll want to give them a rough chop like I did with the artichoke hearts. I didn't have to because we used our homemade ones and we used little baby cherry tomatoes, so they're bite-sized already, so we don't have to worry about chopping them. Okay, give that a quick stir in there. And this is all what's going to be the sauce that goes over the fresh pasta. Full of flavor. Look at that. So good. All right. So now I'm going to add the sun-dried tomatoes. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Okay. And yeah, I'm leaving a little bit of the olive oil that we've packed them in or cured them in here. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. Another time when I wish we had smell-o-vision for you. Yum. Okay, so now that that's all mixed, we're just gonna let that finish cooking and melding. And now we're gonna cook the pasta. All right, so you can see how that's cooking nicely. Looks so good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some white wine to the mixture here. This will be part of the sauce as well. So it's a really simple sauce, full of flavor from all of the garlic, we have the garlic, the white wine, the olive oil, the seasoning from the artichoke hearts, and the sun-dried tomato. Yum. Okay, so while that's melding and forming a beautiful sauce for the pasta, I'm just going to stick the fresh pasta right in the water here that's already come to a boil. Okay. Look at this beautiful fresh pasta I got this morning. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we're going to add this directly to the water here. Um, this won't take too, too long to cook, which is fine because the sauce is basically done for the pasta. So we'll just give that a nice stir in here and let that cook. Delicious. And let's check on this. Look how good that is. Oh man, that just smells so good. Beautiful. I really, really, really wish you could smell this. Oh, okay. So we'll let that just sit. Okay. 
So the pasta is done. So we just put that into this nice mixing bowl here. And now we're going to be adding the mixture. The mixture. I'm going to give you another one. Okay. Can you touch the tossing? Put me to work. No, I just want you here. Okay. Don't mix yet, please. Okay. I just had that so you wouldn't spill it on yourself. So we'll turn that so you can see all the delicious goodness that's coming out of this pan. Again, smell a vision, need to amend it. No. Don't miss anything. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. okay, good. It's good. Thank you. Okay, so if you want to give that a rough toss. While he's doing that, I'm going to take these gorgeous mozzarella balls. Yum. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to break this into pieces. And the heat from the pasta is just going to help melt that. It's going to be this stringy, gooey yumminess in here. <coughs> And then we're going to grate some fresh cheese on the top. So this is fresh buffalo mozzarella. So delicious. Keep stirring, man. I am. All right, so as you can see, as he's mixing it, it's starting to get stringy and beautiful. Yum. OK, so I did three small balls just because they were, again, small. But depending on what size you get in the States is depending on what you'll use. Sometimes you can only get the pearl. Sometimes you can get the larger ones. It just depends. So, but look at that. Beautiful. Keep mixing. Now, I have a question for you. Okay. Do they make a vegan or vegetarian mozzarella? They do. They make a, they do. They've actually come a long way from when I was vegan in the States. So they do have a lot of different vegan cheeses. And my complaint when I, years ago, was that they didn't melt, you know. Oh. But now they actually do. So they have a lot of different, um, even vegan cheddars, vegan mozzarellas. So yeah, it, as opposed to using fresh mozzarella, you could use a vegan substitute. So for now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some fresh Parmesan. See all the strings from the mozzarella? Can you give it one more stir? Yeah. You see all those beautiful strings? Yum. <laughs> OK. So we'll just add some fresh Parmesan or Romano, whatever your preference is, into here. Just a little. And then you can add a little more on top when you serve it. Look at that beautifulness. All right, I would call that complete. What do you think? I would. All right, you can stop stirring then. <laughs> okay, so it's finally finished and just in time for Reposa. I know. And Victoria, I have to say, it looks amazing. It looks so good and it smells really good. Mm -hmm. Is that yours? This is mine. All right. Well, I guess <laughs> I'll eat this then. <laughs> I couldn't eat all that if I wanted to. And you know, I don't even think I could eat all that, but you know, we'll see. No. <laughs> I think our eyes are bigger than our appetite. Well, hopefully. Uh, no. <laughs> all right. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, put on your notifications so you'll get alerted for our next video. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy this. You think? I think so. We're going to try. I know. And we'll put the recipe down below for you so you can try it again. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask us. All right. I guess that's it for now. That's it. All so, right. Ciao, ciao. 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 Dad, I think you have something on your face. Don't back to the office.